and with that water pump unplugged, it'll stop moving water. The water that's in the tank side will back siphon a little bit into the filter compartment, but since the filter compartment is part of the tank, it's still inside the tank. So the water level in the tank will drop a little bit, the water level in the filter will rise just a little bit, that's okay. Because at this point, I want to go in and vacuum the gravel and take out about 10 gallons of water. So to vacuum the gravel at the bottom of the tank, what I need is some siphon hose and a siphon vacuum itself. What we're going to do is suck water out of the aquarium, but in the process of doing so, we'll draw up some of the gravel, which in turn will draw the debris out of the gravel. And we can control that by kinking the hose. And so what we're going to do is essentially vacuum the gravel, taking the small granules of debris out from within the bigger granules of gravel itself. So with the gravel vacuum and siphon hose connected, we'll go ahead and stick this end into the tank and start a siphon here, thus starting the process of cleaning or vacuuming the gravel. The vacuuming process extracts debris from within the gravel bed. It also stirs up, agitates, and aerates the gravel bed. The dirty water drawn from the tank is then replaced with new, clean salt water. And what's really slick is I couldn't think of an easier place to dispose of the water than right here in the bathroom. The biggest advantages of the Uniquarium style aquarium systems is its dedicated filter system and its wet dry trickle filter design. The previous version of this tank used an under gravel filter grid. While under gravel filters are valid biological systems, the fact that they decrease in effectiveness as they become impacted with debris and the resulting cleaning usually affects them negatively. Secondly, the fact that they rely on the water's ability to provide oxygen to the biological filter's bacterial population is a negative as well. So, with the 10 gallons siphoned out of the tank and the gravel cleaned and the sides of the aquarium cleaned, other than a little green tint in the water, I am now ready to uh, put in 10 gallons of new. The Uniquarium's design separates the biofilter to where it won't be disturbed, allowing the gravel to separately be cleaned. Additionally, the wet-dry trickle filter design increases the amount of oxygen content, increasing the effectiveness of the bacterial population as well as the entire biological system. And with the water running back in the system, It'll begin to uh, circulate through the filter and eventually the green in the water will be filtered out. It's now time to put some decorations in there. As I mentioned in the previous part, all my aquarium service customers have two sets of natural coral decorations. This provides a rotating pre-cleaned set of decorations at the time of the service. It also decreases significantly fish losses due to on-site bleaching and improper rinsing. Okay, let's do a little tweaking on that uh, little coral decoration design there for a moment. The art of decorating the aquarium is the aspect of the job that I enjoy the most. It's my artistic expression of what I believe the bottom of the ocean looks like. In addition to its looks, there's also the structural aspects are the decorations positioned securely? 
falling corals easily can gouge or scuff the acrylic panels. So with the coral decorations in and the uh, water pump plugged in, this again being the filter compartment, there has to be a uh, pool of water for the pump to pump from and right now the water level is about halfway up, halfway down, which is fine. Means that the bio ball section is half exposed to the air and half exposed to the water. Uh, this is where it draws its water from. And right there is where it discharges its water into the tank. So I'm going to clean the outside, let this run for just a little bit, and then I'm going to come back and feed the tank and you can see the nice fish that we've uh, got in here at this point. Are you still tumbling bio pellets? Tired of constantly replacing your GFO? Or trying to grow algae in your refugium? And you still have algae problems? Get real! Real filtration, that is. Algae scrubbers from Santa Monica Filtration will turn this into this by growing this weekly. Two styles of scrubbers, the hog and the surf. Both are extremely easily installed and noticeably effective. You want results? Algae scrubbers are the answer. Visit santa-monica.cc Hi there, my name's Jim Stein and you know me as the LA Fish Guy. Well, I also wear a couple of other hats. One of them is the jellyfish tank called the Jelly Aquarium and the third is myfishtank.com. I offer an entire line of acrylic aquariums ranging from rectangular to hexagon, flatback hex, as well as the custom curve front aquariums. There's also an entire line of stands and canopies ranging from MDF to pine to oak with a variety of different finishes available. And the website is even smart enough that you can calculate what the freight and crate charges to your location will be. That's myfishtank.com. Do you want to stir things up in your tank? Create some rock and roll? Make your corals do the hula hula? Internal circulation is the movement of water within the tank. Increasing water flow inside the tank helps flush and sweep up debris. It entices corals to open fuller with greater polyp extension. Fish respond naturally and move gracefully in the variable currents. Jivo wave maker pumps can do this. Four models, inexpensive to obtain, easy to install, internal pumps magnetically grasp the sides of your tank, and each or all units have five effect settings along with separate speed and power controls. Or check out the advanced LED systems at affordable prices. Reef Breeders has a two-year warranty on lights along with DC pumps, dosing pumps, and protein skimmers. That's reefbreeders.com. And so aside from a green algae bloom at the moment and the loss of one fish so far, the Uniquarium, which is what the product is called, has been relatively easy to install, set up, and maintain. You can find these tanks on myfishtank.com and this one, which is a custom dimension tank, can also be made into a Uniquarium. The only thing that I did have some troubles with was the pump was too strong in the beginning and I ended up buying an LED light strip from a friend and shouldn't have. It was a poor product and I've replaced it. Uh, that ended up costing me money and so I'd like to pass along to you that my limited experience so far in the LED lighting is buy from people who are going to stand behind their product. Buy products that have valid warranties uh, and make sure to question those warranties. I'm finding that a lot of these people who say LED light strips and offer a five-year guarantee, in fact, only warrant the ballast for one year. In the case of this LED that I put in here originally, there was no warranty at all. Um, what's in here now is a um, current brand uh, LED light strip. You can find those as well as uh, Reef Bright LED light strips on myfishtank.com's website. So let's go put a little bit of food in the tank and I'll show you the fish that I've gotten in here. 
So we've actually got a number of fish in here so far. We started out with just a regular damsel. I think there were two yellow-tailed blue damsels <clears throat> that we cycled the tank with. Uh, I then shortly added a little snowflake eel after the tank went through its initial cycle. The homeowner wanted to have an eel. Uh, the rest of the fish were um, uh, the clownfish. That's actually Johnny Five. He's the uh, one of the three remaining clownfish uh, that survived from the it crash downstairs. And being the fifth of five clownfish in the tank, he was always the one that ventured out the furthest. Hence the name Johnny Five. Um, the rest of the fish were kind of my own choosing based simply on color. There's a um, rock beauty angel, uh, a chocolate tang, uh, a clown trigger fish, and there's also a um, peach face wrasse in the tank. There were two of them, but uh, one disappeared. <clears throat> Those are all the fish that I plan on putting in there at the moment, and as you can see, it's a very active tank. I don't think it needs to have any more. Uh, the only issues I might uh, continue to expect uh, with this particular tank would be uh, more uh, algae growth as a result of the uh, reflected light that's coming in through a north-facing window uh, and maybe uh, the loss of some fish at some point due to a temperature issue. This tank does not have a refrigeration unit on there. <clears throat> Although, if you're determined, a Uniquarium can incorporate uh, the mechanism to drive a chiller. But that is the uh, Oh, about an 80 gallon unit aquarium and so far it's worked out well for us and as I mentioned that's the unit aquarium which is available through myfishtank.com uh, this tank has worked out real well real simple and real easy to work with glad you could tag along hope you learned something and always keep moving forward